Hello Open Daylighters, both those with a red hat like myself and everyone else out there. I'd like to introduce you today to my proposed new fully automated Eclipse development workspace setup for Open Daylight projects. It's based on the standard Eclipse.org installer, available right here on Eclipse.org slash downloads, which is already used by millions of Eclipse users to set up their Eclipse and install the base Eclipse and provision the workspace for open source projects to contribute to. This Eclipse installer is based on Eclipse Oomph, a great project by Eclipse EMF modeling legends Ed Merckx and Ike Stepper, which allows you to basically define setup models, which declaratively let this tool create fully ready to rock workspaces. This can lower the entry barrier and make it just a little easier for folks to get straight to hacking code and contributing to an open source community. It automates the kind of questions like which Git URL repo is the source code, exactly what versions of which additional Eclipse plugins would I need, what preferences need to be set, basically what we manually document on wiki pages like this one here, can be completely automated to a one-click action. Let's try this out. Basically as documented on this Git project here, Vorberger Open Daylight Eclipse setup, which is with a source code of the setup models that describe to Eclipse oomph how it has to provision a workspace live. It's a little readme documentation that says you need to grab this Eclipse installer from here, download it and start it, and it'll look like this. Actually, it won't look like this. It'll look like this when you start it first time. What you need to do, as documented on this readme here, is you go to the advanced mode over here at the very first time. You choose the base Eclipse product that you would like to set up for Open Daylight. The first choice Eclipse ID for Java developers is just fine. Choose a product version. As we like to live on the bleeding edge, why don't we go for the latest Neon release already? We click Next. In this page here of the Eclipse installer, we pick the projects we'd like to provision into our workspace. You can find here all of the Eclipse.org core plugin projects. If your idea of fun is fixing a Java generics plugin JDT, you can just click here and you get the source code of Eclipse JDT ready for you to browse around. There are a number of open source projects not on Eclipse.org that are part of the Eclipse installer already, such as the list of these projects here from GitHub. For example, this one here, OpenHub, is an interesting project in the IoT space that perhaps is of interest to some of you from Open Daylight. And since just yesterday, the standard Eclipse installer from Eclipse.org includes a section of all of our Open Daylight projects. So anyone downloading Eclipse installer and looking at this list of projects will actually see the many projects that are part of the Open Daylight community. What I'll do is I will pick one of the projects here. Let me pick maybe the... I think I'll pick the list flow mapping. That's a, sort of an arbitrary choice. I can pick any number of them, actually. Pick this one. I could pick um, maybe something like the controller as well. There are any projects that I'd like to be provisioned into my development workspace. For the moment, let me just go for one. Um, click Next here, and it'll ask me where I'd like to set this up. What I'll do is I'll say Home, something like this. And when clicking next, it'll tell me what it's going to do. It's going to set up a number of plugins here. These are all plugins that are useful for contributing to Open Daylight. It's going to configure our Eclipse Ini file, uh, put an XMX that's useful, create some resources. Let's say finish here and see how it goes about its business and creates a ready to rock Eclipse installation and workspace for us. This can take an instant and is a good time to go grab a cup of coffee. We'll let this video here record what exactly happens. At this stage here, it's installing the set of all the Eclipse plugins that we defined as being required for Open Daylight development in our setup model. And 
and it's now done and firing up the Eclipse that it installed, downloaded and installed the plugins into and we can actually finish the Eclipse installer. We'll wait for Eclipse Neon to come up because it's not quite done yet. Here is a freshly provisioned workspace that at this moment is still empty. But if I close this welcome view here, we can see that at this point, what it's actually doing in this progress view, bar, preem view is that it's executing startup tasks. If you click on this icon here, you can see exactly what it's doing. At this point, it has Git cloned the repository for Lisp flow mapping, the example projects we were going to work on, and is importing the projects with a Maven import into the Eclipse workspace. It actually does a number of things behind the scenes while this is running. This includes things like setting up the Nexus repository, which Open Daylight projects require transparently um, for you. So this would work on a fresh workstation without any Maven installed, without any settings XML downloaded. All of the setup steps are fully automated by this tool. We can see here how the projects are starting to get imported. What I'll do is minimize this one again here and show you how in this list we have a number of projects that it's imported. Let me maybe maximize this. And of course these projects are still red because there's a few things that need to be done. But thanks to our setup model, Eclipse Oomph knows what it has to do to get these projects to have no more red at all, which is just how we like, like them, of course. We can have a quick look again in here. Um, what are we doing? We're still in the Maven import. This will launch a build eventually. So we need to give this a moment. And this is starting to look pretty good. Now, one more thing it should do just at the end is all of these projects, which are from the list flow, here we go, repository have been put into a working set. So as you start importing more projects from Open Daylight, there's about 80 of them actually, 80 Git repositories with hundreds of projects in them, Eclipse projects, into your Eclipse workspace, they will all appear in separate work sets. Um, if you would like to add additional projects in this workspace, all you have to do is in this list here, once you have your Eclipse workspace, go in here and add additional projects. They'll appear here and through next, the same thing will happen and the project will be set up. As we can see, it's just finishing some more builds here. And it finished and we have a workspace with absolutely no red, completely ready to start coding in. All right, let me wrap this up. Um, if you have a look at the readme on the GitHub project, you'll see that there's a short section here that documents a little bit what exactly it does, which plugins it includes, um, just so you see what's actually happening behind the scenes. There's also a section down here with known issues. Um, it's quite likely that um, not all of the 80 or so projects under the Open Daylight um, banner already import cleanly. Um, in addition to defining the um, Eclipse Oomph setup model, there were a number of changes I had to make to actual Open Daylight source code um, to make it clean, cleanly importing. And it's possible that there are more of these. Just raise them on our mailing lists um, and I uh, can see if I can help you to get the projects all to import cleanly if required. Um, and we'll keep track on this page here on, um, on open issues. All right, I hope this is useful to the Open Daylight community and adds value to be able to be productive in Eclipse. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it if this looks cool. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and keep in touch. Bye guys.